welcome back to my channel. My name is Barbie Marie and I'm a personal trainer, group fitness instructor, and I'm obsessed with helping you look and feel your best. So I do follow along workouts and stretch with me videos, nutrition and lifestyle videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more workouts like this. So today's workout is going to be a hit, a high intensity interval training circuit. So we're going to do three separate circuits with four moves each. You're going to go through the circuit each three times. So each circuit we go through three times and then we totally can change up the circuit on the round, the second circuit and then the third circuit. They'll all be different moves. Um, all you're going to need today is a medicine ball. I've got an eight pound medicine ball here and a set of dumbbells. If you don't have a medicine ball, no worries. You can just use one dumbbell when we get to that exercise and I'll show you how to do it. So if you're ready, grab a bottle of water, maybe a towel. Hopefully we're going to get nice and sweaty together and let's get to it. Okay, downward dog. Push it back. Set the one foot up, twist. Push it back. Other foot up, twist. Press it back. Twist, beautiful guys. This is kind of our little resting move here. Feeling a little juicier this time. Really juicing up those joints. Deep. Beautiful. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Good. Okay, so we've got 10 seconds in between each exercise. You're going to grab your medicine ball or one dumbbell if you don't have a medicine ball. Ready? And go. We're going to do jumping jack. Plant the hands on the ball. Plank jack. Jump it in. Jumping jack feet. Holding the ball. Plank jack on the ball. Jumping jack. Plank jack. If you're using a dumbbell, you're just going to place the dumbbell down and plant your hands on the floor. About 15 seconds. Then we're going to keep the medicine ball for the next exercise or your one dumbbell. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Good. Whew. Heart rate's getting up. So now we're going to do goblet squat, overhead press. So nice wide stance, pull the belly button into the spine, tense the core, squat, press. Squat, press. So the goal with the squat is to sit your butt back and down while keeping the heels on the ground. You want a nice wide stance. So ideally your butt can drop parallel to the ground or below your knees. There shouldn't be any knee pain. So if you need to modify, just don't go as low. You can turn your toes out slightly. That may help. Squat, press, squat, press, one more and rest. Good. Now we're going to grab both dumbbells. We're going to start in a plank position. And here we go. We're going to drive one elbow back, row, row, push up, jump it in, curl, press. This is called a man maker. Total body. Row, row, push up. Ooh. Curl, press. Nice job, guys. You can go as slow or as fast as you want to go. If you've got tons of energy today, go for it. Row, row, push up. And if you need to, modify that push up by coming down to your knees. I'm probably going to modify next round. <laughs> My chest is sore from yesterday's workout. Okay, downward dog. Push it back. Set the one foot up, twist. Push it back. Other foot up, twist. Press it back. 
twist. Beautiful, guys. This is kind of our little resting move here. Feeling a little juicier this time. Really juicing up those joints. Deep. Beautiful. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Good. Now we're gonna grab our medicine ball or a single dumbbell for the jumping jack with the ball. Jumping jack. Out, in. Jumping jack. Out, in. Jumping jack. Good job, guys. Jumping jack, out in, nice and strong through that core. Pulling the belly button into the spine, especially in that plank. And last one, good job. Woo, heart rate's definitely up. Squat, press. Squat, overhead press. Try to gain control of your breath. Exhale, at the top. Inhale, deep exhale. If you wanna make it a little more challenging, you can add a second dumbbell and just do a squat thruster. So that would be one dumbbell in each hand as you press. Just increasing the load a little bit. 10 seconds. Full range of motion. Form is everything, guys. Form over speed. Always. Good. Now we're going to grab our dumbbells. Dumbbell plank row. Push up, curl, press. So we got row, row, push up. Jump it in or step it in. Listen to your body, always. Jump or step it back. Row. Row, Ooh. push up, curl, press. Good job, guys. Row, nice and strong. Keep the elbow tight. Ooh. By your side, during that row. Row, row, I think I'm gonna go down to my knees. Feel free to do what works best for you. All right, rest. We've got one more time through, guys. Woo, it flies by. So fun, okay. Down dog, last time. Twist. Savor this one, this is my favorite. Juiciest total body move. Press it, up, twist. Push the hips back. Savor that calf and hamstring stretch. Push. Twist. Twist. 10 seconds here. Then we say goodbye to this lovely move. Twist. And rest. Good. Grab your ball. Jumping jacks. <sighs> breathe, guys. Always the goal should be to try to sync the breathing with the movement. Helping your muscles move as efficiently as possible. So you want them full of oxygen. So we don't injure ourselves. <laughs> 
telling the body and the central nervous system what we're doing is okay. It's okay that our heart rate's giving up. <laughs> All right, squat press with the ball or with your dumbbells. Nice wide stance, squat, press, pull that belly button into your spine. Exhale, as you press, inhale, Also squeezing the glutes as you stand. Full hip extension. So you feel those glutes contract behind you. Ten seconds. Drop it low. Press your heels into the ground. Extend your hips. Squeeze your glutes. Woo, pull your core in. All right. One more move, guys. Here we go, man makers. Row, row, push, jump, curl, press. Feel free to go faster than me. Oh, I forgot the row. So excited about that push up. Not really. <laughs> Who loves push ups? It's definitely not. My favorite move, woo! Curl, press, almost there guys, 10 seconds. See if I can do another full push up. Really push yourself guys, challenge yourself. And rest, good job. Grab water, rest for a sec. And we're gonna go for circuit two. Okay, back for round two. How you feeling, how you feeling? For this round, we're not gonna need our medicine ball, so just your dumbbells. Ready? Let's start the timer. First move is gonna be no, sorry, restarting the timer. First move is gonna be no equipment. So just our body weight. We're gonna jump out into a squat and tap, cross, crossing side to side. Of course, if you need to modify, you are just taking the jump out. So you'll be stepping it out, step it together. Step it out, step together. But if you want a little more of a challenge, if this is okay for your knees and your back, go for it. Get that heart rate up. Woo! Sweat a little bit. Sweating's my favorite. All right, Hudson. My puppy is here watching me just outside of the camera chat. But maybe he'll come join me for one of these moves. And rest. Awesome, now we're gonna take our dumbbells and we're gonna start at a plank. Two and up. And we're gonna rotate to a side plank, pull the dumbbell up to your shoulder and press. So you're kind of opening and stacking the hand over top the shoulder. You can also place your hand on the ground if that's too intense to be on the dumbbell itself. Beautiful, guys. Nice and slow and controlled. I always say form over speed. If you're going too fast, you're probably not being as efficient as you could working all the muscles in the move. And mind-muscle connection is so important. That's our timer. I'm talking a lot. So we're gonna do a lateral bear crawl, so no move, no <laughs> equipment, move the equipment. We're gonna go, tuck the toes, lift the knees, hovering the knees an inch or two above the ground. You're gonna crawl a few steps to the right, tap that knee towards the elbow, tap. Then we're gonna go back the other way. Keep a nice flat back. You should be in tabletop position the whole time. So we don't want this. Keep your butt down, shins and back parallel to the ground. And don't forget we're tapping at the end of each side. 
So I'm using my mat as a reference, walking along the length of my mat. And rest, good. Now we're gonna grab one dumbbell or your medicine ball. I'll use my dumbbell. We're gonna go lateral lunge, rotate, step together. Lateral lunge, rotate, step together. I need to turn another way. Lateral lunge, twist. Get low, stick the butt back, pull the belly button in towards the spine. So your abs are active and we're protecting the spine and the lower back. Let's see if I can do it this way again. <laughs> Twist. Nice and strong through that core. Beautiful. Three, two, and rest. Good. Set the dumbbell down, back to the top. What was it? Squat, cross jacks. So hopping if you want to, slowing it down if you need to. You can also speed this up a little bit. If you're feeling good. It's Monday for me. I don't know when y'all are watching this video, but I always like to have a pretty, Sweaty, good workout on a Monday. Starts the week off right. Are you with me? Woo! Deep inhale, deep exhale to let the body know that we got it. We're in control. Right? And rest good. Woo! Shake it out. Then we went to that dumbbell plank stack. Rotate, side plank, pull it up, press. Back to center. Don't skip the center plank. So you shouldn't be rolling from side to side. Hit the plank, then go to side plank, press, then hit the plank again. Side plank. Really steady, this one's nice and slow and controlled and intentional. Good work. Almost there. 10 seconds. Last one. And rest. Awesome. Now we're doing our lateral bear crawl. So starting in that tabletop position. Lift the knees. Walk it all the way down the length of your mat or about three or four steps. If you're not using a mat, maybe the length of your couch. <laughs> Use your environment. Keep that flat back. Like you've got a glass of water on your back. Nice and steady. Shoulders, triceps, core, quads, everything on fire, and rest. Good job, grab one dumbbell. Lateral lunge, Woo! with that rotation. Stick the butt back, twist, step together. Nice and strong through the core, especially through that rotation. We don't wanna hurt the back. Pull the belly button into the spine. Exhale as you twist. Beautiful. Nice job, guys. Get low, get low, get low. Butt back, weight in both of your heels, but 90% of your weight should be on that outside foot. Outside heel. Getting right into that booty. Okay. Back to the top one more time. Got hair on me. Get it up. Squat jog. Same position. 
You wanna get low, stick the booty back, weights in the heels. So we're working the biggest muscles in our body, the glutes, as well as the hamstrings, so the back body, loading when you're at the bottom of this move, and then exploding in. <laughs> Is that annoying? And we're also working the quads. But everything is connected. Cool. Done with those. Grab your dumbbells. Side plank. Stack. Side plank. Whoa. doing one of these slow controlled moves after doing a jumping move like that <laughs> maybe a little off balance do a weight that's manageable for you so you want to push toe the line of that comfort zone bear crawl. Ready. Two. And go. Knees up. Walk it. Tap. 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 This is a total body move right here. Nice work. 15 seconds, hang on. If you can't move anymore with it, try to hold. Four, three, two, one. Awesome, one more move in circuit two. Grab your dumbbell. Woo! Heart rate's up. Lateral lunge, twist. Last 45 seconds of circuit two. And we can get some water. <laughs> and as always, feel free to break when you need to. So if your body's telling you, yo, I need water now. <laughs> Press pause, grab water. Don't deny her your inner truth. Good work, 10 seconds, woo! Twist, five. Last one, and rest, good job guys. Set your dumbbells down, grab water, I'll see you for a circuit, three. Okay guys, are you still with me? We have one more circuit, four moves, three times through, and then we are done. You're killing it, I'm soaking wet, sweaty, which is awesome, that's always our goal for an interval workout, right? So all you're gonna need in this set is a set of dumbbells, okay? First move, we're going to, I'm gonna use both dumbbells, but feel free to just use one. Let me start the timer. And then you're gonna go to your back on the floor, dumbbells over your hips. And we're just going to lift and squeeze and lower. So a dumbbell glute bridge, pressing through the heels, Pausing at the top, lift and squeeze the booty. So you're squeezing the glutes, the biggest muscles in our body. They should be the strongest. They can handle much more weight than this, but these are the dumbbells I'm using today. <laughs> Pressing through the heels, squeeze, 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 and lower. This is really good if you have back problems or sciatica issues strengthening the glutes will take some relief off of the areas that are working too much in those in those problem areas good okay now we're gonna set those aside we're gonna do 10 high knees 10 mountain climbers 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feel free to speed past me. So driving those knees up as high as you can. And then as high as you can in the mountain climbers. right over the ankle in alignment getting low take a deep step back a nice long step back Woo. okay last one squat knee up to oblique so no equipment nice wide stance sumo squat knee crunch knee to elbow crunch up. So keeping your hands behind your head, if you can, harder that way. Treating every knee up like a crunch, so we're targeting those obliques on the side body. Full range of motion. Get low, press through the heels. 10 seconds, then we go back Woo. to the top with the glute bridges. And rest, good. Grab your dumbbells, going down to the mat, to your floor, your living room, cushy floor. Maybe you're at the gym, maybe you're at the office. Lift and squeeze. When I worked a desk job, worked in an office, I would do just this. I would go on YouTube, find a cool workout, usually like 30 to 45 minutes, squeeze. And I would go in early, so no one else was there, squeeze. And I would do it, because we had the space, and I kept dumbbells at my desk, squeeze. And then I would go change and shower before <laughs> the rest of the office came in. I also used to work out on my lunch break sometimes. Just depended on how the day went. Woo! That's it, okay. High knees. Mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. So nice and light on your toes. In that mountain climber, most of your weight should be in your hands and your shoulders. You should feel like your feet are floating up towards your chest. Total body, inner 
more workout. Woo! And if you're still with me, man, you're doing some good things for your body today.
Awesome work. I'm so, so proud of you. Let's turn the timer off. Woo. Okay. Who's feeling good? I don't know if you can tell, but I am glowing from the sweat. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me for this full body workout. If you liked it, like I said, give it a like, subscribe, leave me a comment below if you like this style of workout, if you like something more specialty focused, like a leg workout, an ab workout, an only upper body workout. Let me know what you're wanting. Um, I love doing this. I do it anyway, <laughs> every day, so I might as well film it. Uh, let me know your feedback below and thank you so much for being with me and spending your time with me and doing these great things for your body. Health is wealth. We don't have anything else. So I'm so proud of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.